So this has uh, two different pieces to it. So it wants to know how far apart the two aircraft are, and the aircraft are located here and here on a three-dimensional axis, obviously. So let's do just that piece of it. So it's going to be 20 minus 26 squared, and then 25 minus 31 squared, and then 11 minus 12 squared. So we're going to put all that in the calculator and see how far apart they are. 20 minus 26 squared plus. Make sure you got a plus in between there, but again, you can look this up. The formula, you don't have to look it up. You can just get it to you. 25 minus 31 squared. Still mixed up, I can see somehow. Plus 11 minus 12. I have no issues with my parentheses here. 11 minus 12 squared. There we go. So 8.54 is the distance between those two things right there. All right, now it says the radar tracking station has a range of 40 kilometers. Uh, determine whether it'll be able to detect both aircraft. It says the station lies at the origin. All right, which is zero, zero, zero in three dimensions. So if I have to find the distance between these two aircraft, all right, let's find the green one right here. And it's gonna be 20 minus zero, which is just gonna be 20. So this is gonna end up being 20 squared plus 25 squared plus 11 squared, because those are all gonna be subtracting a zero at the end. All right, so you can put the zeros in there if you want to. I don't even need to put the, um, and I don't, it doesn't matter if I put them in order or not. I'm not going to because I forgot the first one there. So it's a 20, a 25, and an 11. So that's 33.85 for this one, 33.85. Did I land it correctly? Yes. All right, so that one's okay. Which means the other one's probably not okay. So if I want to find the blue aircraft, so the blue one is going to be a square root of 26 minus 0, which is 26 squared plus 31 squared plus 12 squared. You can see those numbers are all bigger than the other ones, so this is going to be a bigger number. Um, and again, it's probably going to be over 40. So 26 squared plus 31 squared plus 12 squared. Let's make sure I got the right numbers. Yes. It's going to be 42.2, so that one's a no. All right, so the radar station would not actually be able to see these two planes. It could see the first one, but not the second one. Um, you know, so if it asked, could this would this situation actually work? It wouldn't because it couldn't see the second plane.